everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jackie and today I am here to do my October wrap-up so in the month of October I read a total of nine books which is fantastic considering I had a crazy busy month with school and other things going on in my personal life so it was a hectic month but getting nine books done it is fine with me I enjoyed every single book I read for the most part this month so I'm gonna jump right in and get started so the first book I read this month was the serpent shadow this is book three in the King Chronicles trilogy by Rick Riordan Rick Riordan is the author of the Percy Jackson series as well as the heroes of the month series and all those I have read in the past and absolutely loved this is one of his lesser known series this is a trilogy that follows Egyptian mythology as well as a brother and sister and their names are Carter and Sadie and they find out that they are the descendants of the pharaohs of Egypt so not the gods of Egypt like some of Berkeley Run's other series they are the descendants of the pharaohs and one day their father unleashes the ancient gods of Egypt and mayhem ensues from there this was my favorite book in this trilogy by far this trilogy is not Berkeley Run's best work by far but it's still very very enjoyable now I gave in the first two books I gave four stars in this book I ended up giving a 4.5 out of 5 stars it's a fantastic conclusion if you guys haven't checked out this trilogy already please go do so it's really really good the second book I read this month was a book I got for review from NetGalley and that book was The Walls and this is by Holly Overton this book came out on August 31st this is a YA psychological thriller that follows our main character who is working for the newspaper she is a reporter who reports on the inmates on death row and she pretty much writes the story whenever there is an execution and in this particular book she is still working at this job and she ends up meeting a man who she eventually ends up marrying and something goes wrong in the relationship and it takes off for there it's kind of hard to describe I read a book by this author last year that was called baby doll that's another psychological thriller I do have a full review of that book on, up on my channel I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested in checking out that book I highly recommend these authors books if you are just getting into psychological thrillers like myself you would know that there isn't one place to really start I would recommend these two books by this author because they're really good I gave them both four stars and I just can't recommend them enough the next book I read this month was Alice's Adventures in, Un in Lund Wonderland and other works by Lewis Carroll. This is a collection of stories by Lewis Carroll, obviously, that features Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass and a couple of his short stories. And I primarily read this book because I wanted to read Alice in Wonderland. It was on my top 10 books I wanted to read in 2017 video, which I'll have a link down below. And I ended up reading this entire 700 page or so book in about four days. The first two, Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Gods, were enjoyable enough, but they it just made me want to continue on with the rest of the book. So that's what I did. I enjoyed every single story that was in here. I gave this entire book a four out of five stars. The next book I read this month was actually a reread for me, and I read this book last year, and I absolutely loved it. And the most recent book in the series just came out in September, so I decided I wanted to reread the series before getting to that book, and that book is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. I love Sarah J. Maas's books. Uh, most of you guys who have been following my, for my channel for a while would know that. I have read every single one up to Tower of Dawn at this point. And this is the first book in the Throne of Glass series called Throne of Glass, obviously. If you guys are not familiar with this series, this is a new adult fantasy series that follows our main character Selena Sardothian, who is the most feared assassin in all of the land. And in this first book, we find her in prison. There has been something, a crime that has been committed years before this book uh, takes place, and we find out more about that crime in a later novella called The Assassin's Blade. But in this book, first book she has been in prison for about a year and the only way she can escape is to enter this competition to become the king's main assassin. She is pitted against I believe 20 other competitors in this Hunger Games style competition and it's so so good. This is the book that made me want to read more books featuring female assassins. I think that Selena is a kick-ass main character. Like I said I reread I read this book last year, reread it this year. I can't recommend it enough. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars the first time, and I still gave it a 5 out of 5 stars the second time. The next book I read this month was a book that was sent to me for review by the author, and that book is The Dark Knit by Benjamin Percy. This is another YA psychological thriller that follows four main characters who are set up in this kind of, it's kind of hard to say, they are teamed up in this crime investigation to solve a murder that has happened in present day Portland, Oregon. 
and they all come from different types of backgrounds but they all come together to help solve this crime it's a very interesting concept it just didn't work out as well as I wanted it to personally for me like I said I'm not a huge psychological thriller fan but I definitely think this was interesting if you guys like the technology more psychological thrillers are focused more on technology I would recommend this book we have a ton of diversity we have a main character who is blind we have a couple of characters that suffer from anxiety and depression it's an interesting book I gave this a three out of five stars it wasn't personally for me but I think a lot of you would like it if they picked it up the next book I read was Magnus Jason the Gods of Azure, book one, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. This is a series that follows Norse mythology, and this follows our main character Magnus Chase, who is living on the streets of Boston in the first book, and one day he finds out he is the son of Frey, which is the god of summer in Norse mythology, and he is sent on this quest to find this long lost sword that belonged to his father. And he was a couple of friends along the way and mayhem ensues from there it's fantastic like i said this is a new one this is one of ricky Gordon's newer series the third book in this trilogy just came out at the beginning of october i believe and of course i wanted to give it a try before reading the third book in the series and it was fantastic i gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars it did not disappoint it just go check it out the next book I read was An Enchantment of Ravens. This is by Margaret Rogerson. This was the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of October. And this is a YA fantasy novel that follows our main character, Isabel, who lives in a world where the Fae are not able to do any crafting or homemade goods. They rely on the humans to do that for them. And our main character, Isabel, is a painter. She is able to paint portraits of the Fae. So she one day gets her first royal client who happens to be the Prince of the Autumn Court and she accidentally paints sorrow in his eyes, human sorrow, and this causes a huge uproar in the fake community and she has to stand trial for her actions. This book has been compared to the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass, which is personally one of my favorite series of all time. And I can see why, I can definitely see the comparison. This just did not live up to the standards that I had hoped to be. I found this book very interesting at some points and then very boring at some other points. I don't know if it was just, there was just so many things going on at one time. Maybe it was just me, but I just found myself, like I said, extremely, extremely bored half the time through this book. I, the romance was so insta-lovey that drove me insane. And this is a standalone, so if I think if this book had spread, been spread out into maybe a duology or a trilogy if needed, the plot would have worked out so much better, but everything was just all happening at one time, so that's just why it didn't work for me. I give this a 3 out of 5 stars. I don't know if I would technically recommend it if you were a fan of the Akadar trilogy. It just didn't live up to the hype. The next book I read this month was the one of the book club books for my good friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles' book club, and that book is The Lion Game, and this is by Ruth Ware. This is an adult psychological thriller that follows four main characters who were best friends during their middle school, high school age, and they were known for playing this game called The Lion Game, which is where they would go around and try not to give into trouble and tell lies to their professors, and sometimes they're even their fellow students. And this book takes place 15 years after the events that happened in the past, which I'll get into in a second, and they are back together because something has happened from the consequences that they play, they had during the, when they played the Lion Game, and they all have to come together and help each other out to not get into trouble with like the law enforcement. This one was an interesting read. I had a lot of hopes going in because I had heard somewhat good things about this all over our booktube. However, it just didn't lo live up to what I had hoped it would be. And once again, this was just extremely boring in my opinion. Not a whole lot happened. It did not read like a mystery thriller. It felt more like literary fiction for a good majority of the book. Eventually the mystery aspect did come in and I enjoyed that part when I finally did, but that was only about halfway through the book. That point, at that point, I just didn't care about the mystery thriller. There was a huge plot twist at the end I did not see coming, so that really gave me a shock.
but overall this book was just not for me. I, I might check out other books by this author because I've heard some good things about her other books so definitely might check those out in the future but I gave this book a 2.5 out of 5 stars. And the last book I read in the month of October is Nixia and this is by Scott Wink Wink Ringtickin. I hope I said that right. I apologize if I didn't. This is a book I got for review from NatGalley as well. And this is a YA science fiction book that follows our main character Emmett who is part of a team of young teenagers who have been sent on a mission to an off-world planet. And they are sent to gather this mineral called Nixia. And if they gather it, they're supposed to get a huge reward. And it follows Emmett as he journeys there, goes through a lot of training in order to get this mineral, and there's just a whole lot of plot twists. There's a ton of plot twists in this book, which is what I really enjoyed about it. However, the plot definitely dragged out through most of the book. It just, the plot just wasn't for me, and there's also an unnecessary romance that was thrown in just like in the middle of the book. I'm like, do we really need a romance in this series? This is going to be a trilogy, and I do think this was a strong first book. Yes, it had its problems, but I still think it was enjoyable enough to continue on with the trilogy, and I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. So that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have Lisa's channel as well as the Goodreads group down below if you guys would like to check those out. I also have all my social media linked down below, so if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and my blog, they are all linked down below. As always, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!